Welcome back, BHS, the third installment of the Bronco Breakdown. Once again, I'm here with my co-host, Jack Ward, and we'll begin everybody ready for the Broncos' home matchup against the Schaumburg Saxons. But enough rambling, Jack, let's roll that intro and get right into it. Josh, this week we have another big matchup, our second home game, this time versus Schaumburg. Coming off the Broncos' huge win last week against the Evanston Wildcats. How do you think the Broncos are going to do this week? Well, obviously Barrington's coming off their first win of the season, and the reason they won that game, in my opinion, was the defense. Not to discredit the offense, and well, I mean, we'll get to them in a minute, but, but the Barrington Stars had elite performances last Thursday. Max Manello, Ian Matarosian, and Devin Van Ness essentially shut down the Wildcats' run game, and junior corners Matt Marusic and Will Nazo went berserk and locked down many of the talented Evanston receivers. Yeah, Josh, there was certainly a lot to watch last week. Obviously, like you said, the secondary was great. The line was great. And I also want to point out Coldy Domenico and Reed Krause. The Broncos' linebacking core was once again wrecking havoc last week. And how can we talk about last week without mentioning Dylan Fitzpatrick? He'll be my X Factor tonight, and it seems obvious. I mean, last week the man had 20 carries for 103 yards and whopping four touchdowns, including a massive 90-plus yard kickoff return touchdown. There's nowhere to go but up for this junior running back. After a game like that, how could you not pick Dylan? I mean, four touchdowns is unreal. He's obviously going to be an X-Factor favorite, but I'm going to be honest. I got to go with Will Naza. He's a true Swiss Army knife of a player. The Broncos will put him anywhere, and he seems to make it work. He's leading the team with two picks, and he could just be the spark that the passing needs to get going. Jack, you lost me there. So is Naza going to be your offense or defensive pick for this game? Both. I'm telling you, he's going to make some plays on offense tonight. Interesting pick. I hope you're right. I'd love to see more players utilizing this Barrington offense. Give me a little more Brian Toman, Michael Paschal, and of course, Will Naza. I definitely agree, Josh. There's a lot of players we really haven't seen play at their full potential. So Josh, who's going to make the plays on defense? Jack, this was the hardest expected decision I've made all season, but in all it came down to three guys. Reed Krause, Matt Marusic, and Devin Van Ness, and in the end, I went with Marusic. His coverage was fantastic the entire game, and if you pay attention, he's not afraid to make some huge hits and even bigger plays. Matt has been stellar this year. I love from what I've seen from him, and I think he'll lead the Broncos to a score of 24 to 10, with the Broncos coming out with the win, with a very defensive game. That's a great score prediction, though, though. I'm gonna go with a higher score of 42 to 14, with a huge game from Marusic. And Jack, I think we'll see a lot more from some other less notable Bronco receivers making their names more known. Everybody, be sure to come support the Broncos tonight at 7.30. The theme is going to be blackout. Meet at the Victory Bell at 7 to walk in with the student section. Thanks, Jack. That'll be all for tonight. Thank you, BHS. Once again, it's Josh Ginketti and Jack Ward with the Bronco Breakdown. We'll see you in two weeks prepping for the game against the Palatine Pirates. Thank you, BHS.